Hi and welcome back to the Business Career College video series. You should be watching this video as the third in a series on a life insurance needs analysis and of course we're also going to do disability and critical illness insurance needs analysis. And what we're going to see here in the last video we established that we might have this set of needs. So whether it's exactly right or not I'm not too fussy but let's assume that this is correct and we've worked through this with the client and we agree that this is the proper needs analysis for this client. So knowing that we need $60,000 a year for 12 years at a 3% discount rate, we could do a present value calculation. And the present value here, just using a simple time value of money calculator, would be and if you haven't covered the financial calculator yet, you'll probably want to hammer that out before you go too far with this uh, video. Or you can just take me at my word that the present value here is going to be $597,240. So that's the amount of money that we would need at a 3% rate for 12 years to generate $60,000 of annual income and then we keep going in the next period the present value here is going to be 151,000 nine sorry let me fix that the present value at that period when you get out to that 12th year is going to be 216,688 dollars meaning that if you had $216,688 at a 3% discount rate, you could provide $40,000 of income for six years. You would be able to meet that obligation. Now, here's where this gets maybe a little bit tricky, is that we don't need these dollars today. We, in fact, need this in 12 years. So this is only needed in 12 years. That is, we would say, hang on a second here, when we're done with this $597,240, then we're going to need another $216,688. But during the next 12 years, you would have the opportunity to invest here, and you would say, just back up a second, I don't need that full amount, I would only need to have, again, another present value calculation, I would need $151,980, and if I had that today, along with the $597,240, I would be able to run that out and have $216,688, that would be the consequence of investing this at 3% for 12 years, which is how much time you have available, and then you would be able to meet your obligation. And then we can do the same thing going forward here, that for that third period, you're going to need $42,651. So at the end of this period, at the end of this six years, you would need to get you through this next 10 years, remember this is a relatively inexpensive period, $42,651, but you don't need that today, you would just need the present value to get you there, and you would need a present value then of 42,650, sorry, let me fix that, I apologize. You would need a present value of 25,000, and $53. And again, if you had $25,053 today, you would have 18 years to invest that. So a 3% for 18 years now. And that would turn into the $42,651 that you need to get through that period. And then for the fourth period here, at the beginning of that fourth period, you would need $85,302. And 
That translates today into a need of $37,284. Again, if you had that today and you invested it for what's now going to be 12 and 6 and 10, so 28 years, at the beginning of year 28, your $37,284 would have turned into $85,302. The next one is obvious. You don't need anything here, which, of course, is a present value of zero. And then for that last period, you would need $119,379. And that gets you then to a need of $28,890 in today's dollars if you had that money earning 3% from today, assuming you die today, up until that's going to be now 48 years out into the future. So you can add all of those amounts up and you can arrive at your total insurance need and the total need when we take this 597 plus this 151 plus this 25,000 plus this 37 plus this roughly 29,000, the total need here is $840,447. Now, in addition to that, we can do a little bit of work here around the kind of insurance that, that would be needed. So we can see that this need is in place for 12 years. This need is in place for six years. So call it roughly $600,000 of need here and $151,000 of need here, that means that I could presumably use a term 20 policy. I could presumably use a term 20 policy for about $600,000 plus $150,000 for about $750,000 and meet our needs. You could even potentially argue that you could use T10 for that first 600 and T20 for this 152,000 and then the rest maybe this is where you might use a permanent insurance policy so we know this is 750 and this is 840 so you would need about 90 or probably you'd round off to $100,000 of permanent insurance and that permanent insurance would be used to meet all the needs that come after that 20-year term. So it's not to say that you'd have to have that permanent insurance in place today, but there would be a recognized need that eventually you're going to need some permanent insurance to meet these obligations that come down the road. So maybe you do an $850,000 T20 and you convert at some point to some permanent insurance, but do you see now how we can start to build a needs analysis that doesn't just tell us how much life insurance we need, but also it tells us what kind of insurance we need and when we need it. Now, in the next presentation, we're going to work a little bit more with this $100,000 need because I'm sure some of you have already identified some concerns around this. So we're going to break there and we'll come back and explore this $100,000 a little bit in the next video. Thank you very much and please do join us for the next video in the series.